Alright guys, I am back. Um, had some issues with uh, the new torch function. Somebody recommended that I make it so that when you left click and destroy a torch, it goes straight to the torch's charge instead of dropping it as an item and forcing you to uh, basically put it back into your torch every time. You go ahead and eat that one. So I went ahead and did it. So now whenever you uh, destroy a torch, it goes back into your points. So it should be at 356 now. And it should be back at 355 very nice. So now whenever you destroy a torch with this, instead of it uh, dropping in the world, it just gets back to, uh, it goes back to the pool, basically. Um, and I, I really like that. That's a, a feature I was actually considering adding, and then somebody recommended it, so I was like, hell yeah. Just doubly into the idea, now that somebody else has agreed with me. I'm all for it. Okay, so I cleared out this chest. Uh, because I knew I was going to need more space for torches and charcoal and probably some other stuff. Um, I also wanted to look at my Thaumonomicon and see what uh, kind of goodies you can make with uh, Soul Fragment because I have several now. Oh, that's right! I can do brains in a jar! Okay, so I need glass, Soul Fragment, and brains. And I have all of those things. Several! several many, because I've been holding out for just such an occasion. So I have 16 soul fragments, and where did I put my brains? Nine brains. Nine brains, here we go. Okay, that is not an infuser. <laughs> I know, I, I, I'm pathetic sometimes. Watching me fail is funny, as a lot of people have pointed out. Oh, did I only pull out five glass? My bad. I thought that was 45. I herp every derp. Alright. Um, damn it. Silly lag. Do I got my fishing rod? Cool. Wee. Ow. That <laughs> didn't work at all. Okay. Uh, Several more brains in jars. Now I'm not really sure what to do with these right away because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to put them on my research station. I'm almost done with research. Um, there's no point in doing that. But um, I could put them on an occultic enchanter, and that would be a different story. So I'm thinking about doing that actually. Um, Actually, that's a glorious idea. Let's go ahead and make an occultic enchanter. What do you have to do to make one of those? Lost. I think I passed it. No? Okay, this is a thomic enchanter. Okay, and it requires V instead of character levels. Okay, so there's a different one. There's an occultic enchanter, which takes a thomic enchanter. Now I'm very interested in this. Um, what do I have to do to make extracts of purest magic, though? Extracts of magic, I have no idea how those are made. Hmm, I'm going to have to wiki that one. Okay, so I'm going to need a Thomic Enchanter anyways. Let's see how you make those. It says they're made with a th conduit, enchantment table, and purest magic. So, I'll need to drag out my enchantment table. I'll need to figure out how to make that purest magic extract, and I will have to combine it twice. And then I will have to use a uh, piece of conduit and a brain in a jar, which I'm fine with, because honestly, that's that's the whole purpose of me getting soul fragments, I guess. Uh, what recipes are these used in? Okay, brazier of souls, or brazier, or however you say that, and also traveling trunk. I always wanted one of these little guys. I may actually go ahead and make one sometime. 
But, uh, well, let's look at my Thaumonomicon. What was the other thing? It was something in an infuser. Something that lets you harvest souls. Here we go. Charm of Souls. Foulless Taint. And the Crucible of Souls, which kills things. Hmm. Made with what? A normal Crucible? Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing much else that uses soul fragments, but I know there's something. I can't help but get the feeling like if I do some research right now, I'll find something that I didn't have before. But I'm not really sure. Okay, aside from the traveling trunk, I didn't see anything in Lost or Forbidden besides what I've already seen. Here's a totem of dusk, takes a soul fragment. But I don't really want those, do I? And Eldritch, does anything in Eldritch take? A soul fragment. It's looking like a no. Apparently not. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a break from the whole thumb thing. I'm lagging pretty bad. I wonder what's up with that. It's probably the rain, actually. Pretty annoying, though. Um, so, yeah. I've got a lot of wood outside. I can go ahead and harvest the rest of it now that I've got uh, plenty of torch power going. But now, what I'm going to need to do is... Holy crap! I'm surrounded. I'm gonna shoot every single one of you. I'm gonna shoot you off the cliff. Bye, spider. Alright, um... So yeah, anyways, uh, I should've brought my shears. Sprint running is bad for you. It takes a lot of your hunger. What I'm going to go ahead and do is finish farming the rest of this here forest, and then I guess I'll go and um, try and build myself a, a rail station in the, the nether. I gotta apologize, because my, uh, my last video went over on time, so I, I had to split it up into two. Well, Fraps did it for me, which is kind of annoying, because I didn't really want it to, but um, anyways. Stupid spiders. Give me your eyeballs. Alright. That should be good. So, yeah. Try not to build this close to my house anymore because it's going to make me do this. Damn it. There we go. Doop -de doo Thank you for the safe landing. Alright. So what else we gotta do? Harvest all these trees. I guess he didn't realize that he could interrupt the block intercept. Because that would have been really freaking useful. Whoa, whoa. Freaking out. Didn't mean to take leaves. I don't like leaves. I'm just gonna throw them on the ground. Yeah.
wonder how far it pulls from. Oh, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent spread. Very nice. What I really like about this is that uh, even though I had to pay dearly in time for it, I've managed to keep my um, axe fully repaired. Whereas ordinarily it would have required several trips back to Atomic Repair. Um, it would have cost me less to repair it in Atomic Repair, but it wouldn't have been nearly as convenient, so I'm happy with how it turned out. So I can just basically farm an entire forest without having to go back home. Which is nice. And the combination, Axe of the Stream plus Shears, is really nice. <laughs> um, I think they complement each other rather perfectly. So... It would be nicer if mine had, like, the, uh, the whole delayed effect that his does, though. See, it's just nice, that... The sound effects, the, you know, breaking them over time... use the smoke effects. I usually use smoke effects. I think they're nice. That's cool. And you put them both together and it's just like crazy deforestation time. So we'll take out both trees. I'll certainly have to try this out on, uh, on a great wood sometime. Because, uh, I think it'll go rather well. Holy crap. That was awesome. Alright. Well, I guess that's, uh, that's all for the acts of the stream. For now, anyway. I think I'll have to replant some saplings here. Because I used a lot of them uh, doing all kinds of crazy shit. I melted them for V. I used them to. Uh, well, I didn't use any for torch, or I'm sorry, uh, fuel supply this time, but sometimes I do. No, all things considered, now it's perfect just to use them for V and nothing else. Plant them away from a house this time. I'm not very methodical about it, I just kind of like a random orbital pattern here. Alright, we're good. So, yeah, we got, uh, sorry, a lot of leaves that uh, turned into saplings. We didn't get so many apples that time, but that's because we'd already harvested most of the leaves anyway. Um, now would be a good time to try out... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I was going to say, now would be a good time to try out uh, Red Power's scythes. I didn't realize how much of an understatement that was going to be. Well, well, well. Alright, um, here's what I need. Four panels. Four or five, anyway. Four or five panels. Like these. I'll just bring 20. 20 covers. And, um... I'm gonna go ahead and stash all the wood, because I don't need that much nearly. And, um... Let's grab a couple of sticks, and... Actually, I think it's only one stick, isn't it? No. I think you can be making them out of, out of gems, if I'm not mistaken. Is it like that, or is it like, um... That, yeah, there you go. Sickle. Alright. Let's destroy some wheat. There's an awful lot of it. Man. Oh, right, but first, what I wanted to do here was cover up these water plots here. 
without losing the water. I think it was four, but I went ahead and brought a crap load anyway. Yeah, four. Okay. So now I've got uh, sickle. Let's try that out. See what it's all about. Whoa. Freaking awesome. This is epic and godlike at the same time. Holy crap. That'll make short work of everything. Man. Oh geez, we're gonna run out of inventory space long before we finish. Okay, we're out of inventory space. That's where the magic of the bag of lidless eyes comes in. Now let's continue. <laughs> Alright. Why aren't you striking? There you go. Now we'll use the axe of the stream to pull it all in. Alright, cleaned an entire room. Now, we've got uh, an awful lot left to replant. I don't think I'm going to need any more flax, so I'm just going to do nothing but wheat. And I really wish there was a faster way to do this. Wait a minute, I could make a hoe, couldn't I? Can't, can't you replant like crazy with that uh, crazy thorncraft hoe? I can't remember. All I know is now we've got all of our water ports plugged up, so I don't have to worry about falling in them, which is good, because that's always annoying. Alright, ran out of seeds there. I wonder if I can just hold down the button. Will it be the same? It will be even better, actually. I didn't realize how much effort I was wasting clicking every time. That is perfect. And I'll have to crack open my uh, bag of, well, that lidless eye that I made to get the rest of the seeds out. But there's a trick to that as well. Man, this is like an epic quantity of wheat. And that was extremely fast. So I am pleased. Okay, crack this bad boy open. It's going to dump a lot of stuff on the ground, though. Yeah. And put my seeds on the quick bar. What I'm going to do... Yeah, I think that's all the seeds I had. Is I'm going to use them one more time. and then pick everything back up. Alright, so now I've got nothing but seeds. And whatever was left on the ground. So now I can continue planting a whole crap ton of seeds. This will be good later when I get my, uh, my darkness generator, I guess. If only there were a way to plant um, silver wood. That would be awesome. Epically awesome. Because I do need some right now, and I don't think it's capable of being duplicated. I think you have to find it legit, no matter what. So it's going to be tricky. Can't mess that up. Alright. Almost finished, I think. This should be the last one. I wasn't really paying attention, I could be wrong. No, I felt my back against the wall. There you go. Epic wheat farm. Okay, rock on. So now, I've got uh, Little Sai here. Let's go ahead and crack her open. Nice. I had, like, just enough space. 
Okay. So now with all this extra stuff I've got here, what can I do? Well, for one thing, if I'm going to be using a shovel, it might as well be the Shovel of Renewal. Keep my awesome axe on standby. Azanor's Axe of Awesome. And, uh, let's see what else I got. Got an eyeball. Got me an eyeball. I can't do that. I'm dumb as hell. Alright, we got uh, some wheat. Shit ton of wheat. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna start running out of space again. In my, uh, I call this the plant box where I keep all the random ass plant matter. And, got that all taken care of. I'm gonna bring my shears of winter this time. Because I'm actually expecting to uh, to go down to the nether pretty soon. I don't want to do anything stupid though. So here's one thing that I was intending to do that I forgot about a long time ago. Um, I was intending to make fence like this. Now, that seems silly, but. there and right there. Oh no, I see how this is going to go. Wrong. Completely wrong. Alright, so it needs to go over twice before it goes down. Which means it's going to come to right here. And here. And then it's going to go here and here and then here and here, here and here and here and here and here and here. Is that really necessary? Not really. I mainly just want to keep myself from falling off in such a way that you can't do that. That was the, the goal that I had in mind. Alright, let's go up here and start from the top then. Okay, so it works for you. It's not going to work for you. It's going to work for here, is it? Yeah, because it's not... Um... You know, I don't really know if this is, if this is correct or not. Because it's going to need to have you here, you here you here, and that looks right. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to test it out real quick. Take a test run. Yeah, that worked. Alright. Now, what else can I get accomplished in one day? Um, I think I'm going to take a quick recording break, and when I come back, I'm going to start building a railway in the nether. So, uh, we can look forward to that. Actually, you know what? I, I completely lied. I am not going to do anything of the kind. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to set... some... not here. This is actually the worst idea ever. Um, give me some smooth stone. I'm going to put some ore blocks in my wall so that I can tune my uh, compass at will. That's what I'm going to do. So I think I have, let's see, there's iron, gold, diamond, redstone, coal, and lapis. And of course I'm not going to be able to have all of those until I get um, something with silk touch. But I want to be able to do it, you know, at a whim, so, oh, miss. So I'll we'll have some ore blocks chilling here so that I can uh, tune my compass to whatever I want, whenever I want. That'll be good. I 
And you know what? This uh, timer here is going to need a switch because I want to turn it off. It's making noise. Noise is irritating. Okay, let's see how I want to do this. I think it would be good if the switch was coming out like right here. But that's not going to happen, so. You're my dogs. Hang on a sec. Alright, sorry about that. Um, yeah. My, my dogs are uh, pretty stupid sometimes. It's okay. I love them anyways. Alright, so I need some red wire. Oh, right, recording break. Okay, I'm gonna take a recording break so that I can uh, make sure my videos don't go over on their time for fraps, and I will come back and do the work. Bye!